Hey kids, I am back with the next part of the lesson on living and non-living things. I am sure you have been recalling the previous part of the lesson repeatedly. Today I am going to take you through another subtopic of this lesson. So let's go. Children, now we are going to learn about the features of living and non-living things. I have used the word features. Features of living and non-living things. What do I understand by features? Children, this is a very new word to you. Features. F-E-A-T-U-R-E-S. Features. Now, what do you understand by features? Features means um, characteristics or uh, points. Points that will tell you how you can identify, differentiate between living and non-living things. It also means the details. What are few details that would tell us what are living and non-living things? So let us see what are living and no what are the features of the living and non-living things. Let's start. Now here we have the first feature. All living things move. All living things move. Yes, children. You can see very clearly in the picture. In the picture here, the bird flies. The bee is moving. The cat. The duck. The horse here. Can you see them? They are moving, right? Yes. So all living things move. So let me read this line to you. Men, men, women and children go from place to place. A dog moves from place to place. Birds fly. So you see children, every living thing will move. There are not many new words here. Yes. We have this word from, F-R-O-M, from, F-R-O-M, from, place, P-L-A-C-E, place, P-L-A-C-E, place, moves. Here another new word, moves, M-O-V-E-S, moves, birds, B-I-R-D-S, birds, F-L-Y, fly. So you see children, men, women, children go from place to place. The dog, the animals move. Dogs are a replaced for an animal. Birds fly. Non-living things cannot move. Non-living things cannot move. You see, the ball will not move by itself unless you kick it. Pen. Pen will not move till you use it to write. Eraser, car, stone, they will not move until and unless you shift it or move it from one place to another. So let's read the line here. Non-living things cannot move. A chair does not move. On its own. On its own means by itself it will not move from one place. Let us learn these words. Cannot. C-A-N-N-O-T. Cannot. C-A-N-N-O-T. Cannot. D-O-E-S. Does. D-O-E-S. Does. O-W-N. Own. Now let's go to the next feature. The next feature that we are going to see here is things, living things grow. All the living things that you see around you will grow. Take for instance a baby. A baby is a human child. It grows into a child and then grows up to be a man or a woman. A little puppy. A puppy is a young one of a dog. So a little puppy grows to be a dog and a small plant 
you put a seed into a pot it will grow to a baby it will grow up to be a baby plant and then a bigger plant but the non living things that you see around you take for instance the table the chair that you are sitting on or anything around it's non living they will not grow a chair cannot be grow bigger a table will not grow bigger or smaller in size so let's read the slide here all living things grow all all living things grow this is a new word you see here g r o w grow a baby grows into a child and then grows into a man a little puppy grows into a dog puppy is a new word here let's read it out p u p p y puppy a small plant grows into a big plant small is a new word here let's read it out s m a l l small and the word big b i g big b i g big now the next sentence about non living things non living things do not grow does a small chair become a big chair no a small chair does not become big i'm sure you're clear with the reading children you can repeat the, uh, do the reading again once again after you finish this class uh, this slide the next feature you see here is all living things need food let let's read together all living things need food the two new words are need and food n e e d need f o o d food need food children i'm sure you need food you eat you had your breakfast you had you have lunch you have at least four to five meals a day so the animals and the plants also the plants need sunlight that's food for them the plants take in the nutrients from the soil the plants need water air so do the birds the animals also but does the furniture in your house need food do you serve food to the furniture the table the chair the cupboards no we don't serve food to them all right so i'm sure you've understood that all living things need food whereas the non living plant things do not need food let's read the sentences here we all need food to live a cow eats grass to stay alive the new words you find here is live l i v e live l i v e live e a t s eats e a t s eats g r a s s grass s t a y stay i repeat s t a y stay a l i v e alive a l i v e alive plants make their food from air water and sunlight so how do the plants make their food children they use air water and sunlight to make their food so let's read out the spellings over here m a k e make m a k e make t h e i r d r T H E I R D R F O O D food A I R air A I R is your air water 
W A T E R water S U N L I G H T sunlight non living things non living things do not need food a table does not need food let's read again non living things do not need food a table does not need food children the next speech that we will see here is living things reproduce now this word reproduce is a big word isn't it you will be wondering what is the meaning of reproduce now first i will explain the meaning of this word reproduce now produce is the word produce look here the word produce p r o d u c e this means to make something so produce is to make something but reproduce means to make something again of the same kind it is reproduce so human beings reproduce babies of their kind only cats will give birth to kittens hens will give birth to eggs and will hatch out kit uh, uh, chickens plants if you take a to uh, tulsi plant the seed of a tulsi plant will reproduce tulsi plant again it will not produce a re, uh, neem plant right so the feature we see here is living things reproduce re means again and produce means to make of this make things so make something of the same kind now let's learn the spelling of reproduce r e re p r o pro d u c e duce reproduce let's spell it out again r e re p r o pro d u c e duce reproduce living things reproduce so give make something of the same kind now human beings human beings are children i have told you before men women and children human beings they get into the group of human beings give birth to babies show sure you all have a younger brother and sister so and you are a human being you yourself when you are younger you are called a baby so human beings give birth to babies who are human beings men women and children let's learn the spelling of human beings one give me a minute let's learn the spellings out here h u m a n human h u m a n human b e i n g s beings b e i n g s beings the next new word is birth b i r t h birth b i r t h birth another word for birth is to be born b a the next new word b a b i e s babies b a b i e s babies so let's read the sentence out human birth sorry human beings give birth to babies the next sentence a cat gives birth to kittens let's read out the spelling of kittens here it's new word i know you know it but then let's spell it out k i t t e n s kittens k i t t e n s kittens the next sentence we have here is a hen lays eggs 
out of which chicks hatch. So children, a hen, a hen lays eggs. Lays is to place it down. A hen lays eggs out of which chicks. The small baby hen is called a chick. They hatch those, uh, the eggs are hatched. Hatch is a process wherein a chick, a hen, sits on her eggs and in the process, when sitting on the, on the eggs, an egg, uh, the chicken comes out, a young baby hen or a cock will come out of it, which is called a chick. This is the process how our hen lays eggs and out of which chicks are hatched. The next is lays. Let's learn some new words first in this sentence. L-A-Y-S, lays. C-H-I-C-K-S, chicks. H-A-T-C-H, hatch. H-A-T-C-H, hatch. The next point is about the plants. Plants produce from seeds. Now, if you take new plants grow from seeds. If you take the seeds, children, you are at home now. You can take some seeds of maybe tulsi seeds. You will get dry tulsi seeds right now, or um, neem seeds, and put them into the ground, or even dania seeds, coriander seeds. Put them into the ground. They will. Uh, you will see the same plant growing once again. You will get uh, from tulsi seeds, you will get a tulsi baby plant and then that plant will grow bigger. So let's read the sentence. Plants produce seeds. New plants grow from seeds. The word seeds is new year. Let's learn the word. S-E-E-D-S -E -E seeds. S-E-E-D-S -E -E seeds. Now, what do we say about non-living things? Non-living things do not reproduce children. Have you ever seen a chair giving birth to another chair? Or reproducing another chair by itself? No. A carpenter has to make another chair for you. So children, the feature of non-living things is, non-living things do not reproduce. Let's read the sentence out. Non-living things do not reproduce. A table does not give birth to a small table. I hope these features should have clearly been understood by you. So children, this brings us to an end of this lesson. I'm sure you have understood the lesson and will be able to read the lesson when you are back to school. I will be back with an with the next part of this lesson very soon. Keep watching, keep reading and keep learning. Bye for now.